Good afternoon, Cubes of the Cash. Gary V, the Casual Comic Guy here, and we are here with Savage Saturday 26. And man, I wish I had a better book for you than the one I have. But this will be a cautionary tale. So this is a review of Red Sonia 1980 Blah. I mean, uh, 1982. Uh, we got two different covers here. So we got the um, the A cover from Danny, which is a cover I think is nice. It looks really good. And the covers are the best thing I'm going to say about this book. It's, uh, it's not great. Uh, cover B, Jonathan Braxton. That's just, that's okay. I really like the cover A. So, as I do, we'll have stuff over here for you to look at. Although, not really worth looking at. So, in this tale, written by Amy Chu, interior art by Eric Blake. And, wow, where to start? This is a jumbled up mess of ideas. You have Terminator going back to fight Sarah Connor vibes in this. You have Dynamite doing what they do. Uh, oh, let's do a one shot. What are we going to do with it? We're going to take Sonya out of her time and put her in another time. Ooh, uh, let's see, you're throwing a sorcerer or throwing some aliens. And Sonya's going to arrive in this time and act like it's completely natural, like she's not out of place, and just completely go along with whatever's happening because why not? And it's messy. Starts out in the Hyborian Age, Sonya at a bar. Uh, there's aliens that are setting up fighting games with each other. So one has his warrior, which is a Terminator-like robot program to kill Red Sonya, who is the chosen warrior of the other alien. Their battlefield starts out in Hyboria, ends up in 1982. And it has to do with, you guessed it, a magic sword again. Every time they take Sonya out of uh, her time, put her in another time, there's always a magic sword with dynamite, right? So apparently if you just want to make a one shot of dynamite, you tell them you have a magic sword story, you're in. Um, really boring. At least with some of these, like in the old Marvel team up, and even with a couple of the dynamite ones, Red Sonya felt like Red Sonya. She does not feel like Red Sonya at all in this book. There's a third of the book where she doesn't even say a word. She arrives in 1982 on a movie set and becomes part of the movie without ever questioning it. Like she would have any idea what a movie is or what acting is. Ends up in an apartment, sleeping in a bed after a hot shower, completely passed out and trusting in her environment, still not talking, doing whatever the people on the set are asking her to do. It just makes no sense. Nothing about that's Red Sonya. Not one bit. Completely off character. May as well have just made this 1982 sword and sorcery at a place in time with someone new. At least that character could have been that character. So characterization in this is a D. Art is also going to be a D for me. The art is clear. You know what's going on. Sonya doesn't look like Sonya, and they draw they draw her exaggerated too much, and then she just looks rushed in the other drawings of her. So you go from rushed to over-exaggerated proportions to frumpy looking, but in none of it does she feel fierce or like the warrior she is. So it's going to be a D for the art, a D for the writing. Uh... The only good thing was the conclusion because the story came to an end and you were able to escape it. So, we'll, we'll give the conclusion to see, at least for that. And they did try to do something a little different with the ending, so... Eh. But overall, this was a total mess. If all you're going to do is rehash a bunch of ideas and throw them together in a quick one-shot to cash in, you're really not servicing your characters. You're really not servicing your audience. And if this is someone's first experience of Red Sonya, this character is instantly going to be ruined for them. Because this is not Red Sonya. 
This is not an accurate depiction of her. This is not an accurate characterization of her. And there is not one page in this that feels like Red Sonia. It's just not. And it's too bad. She doesn't have the fierceness, the cunning, the, the indomitable will. And that's something her and Conan are both known for. And she's just a, a meathead reactionary warrior in this. And it's... it's I hate to I hate to rate something that bad, but it's just it's just not good. This this one is a total miss on uh, every way it can miss. And after starting out the new title, The Invincible Red Sonia, which I think has been a really good title in the first two issues so far, with some great um interior art and great storytelling, and it feels like Sonya. To then come out with this nineteen eighty two and just have it be such a mishmash of ideas. And it doesn't feel like 1982 either. It just doesn't. It's just... Oh, I don't know. Aliens. Terminator-type rip-off robots. Uh, Red Sonya just being a reactionary meathead warrior. Just not, you know, it's, there's nothing in here as a Red Sonya fan you want. And I always give the, I'll give the story a chance, right? And from the start, it fell off. And I kept looking for redeemable qualities and I couldn't find any. None. Don't waste your time on this. Don't waste your money on this. Let this video save you the $4 cover price. I, of course, am $8 in. At least I can say the covers are okay. That's all I got. Um, Savage Saturday 26. D all around. Skip, skip, skip. Do not waste your time on this title. This is not what you're looking for. Until next time, keep it casual.